Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. This one here is going to be Ernie Irvin's uh, 1987 Cam not Camaro, uh, Monte Carlo. Uh, it's a Dale Earnhardt uh, Chevy not Camaro, Monte Carlo. Um, so this is going to be a Diecast Review slash, it's not really much of a review, it's going to be more of a repair. So here's the deal, let's take a look at the chassis itself. So, look in the right side window there, it's okay detail, pretty good, rear window. You know, standard looking stuff there. Oh, it looks about right. A little dirty overall, but, you know, not bad. So, what's wrong with it? Well, that should tell you right there. The hood uh, basically isn't isn't glued in anymore. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fix that. So, anyway, first of all, let's look at this car. This car is awesome. Black rims, silver, black, number 56. I mean, this is a, this is a cool looking car. Black chassis underneath. Um, overall, a really neat car. But now that we've got, gotten a chance to admire it for 20, maybe 25 seconds, I'm going to clean off my towel here. I have some uh, screw pieces on it from earlier. Yep, I'll just go ahead and let that fall off. All right, so it's time to dissect. So these uh, only have three screws that hold them in. One over here. And I actually have, if anyone remembers the old NASCAR 187th, little clear case. I now use that to hold my screws because it just makes it easier to um, keep track of. So they're in a clear bin. Hard to lose them when they're uh, trapped in a bucket. And then there's one on the front, right in the middle. All right, bingo. Lift comes right out. Uh, I don't think there's anything. I think it's just pinching it. Oh, fuel cell. Fuel cell is attached. Interesting. So I'm going to have to knock the fuel cell off of one part or the other. Um, probably going to prefer to take it out of the bottom. Well, let's see here. So i got to figure out where I want to knock the fuel cell out of. Um, preferably the bottom. I feel like that's the easiest way to work on it. But over here, you're not going to notice it as much as long as it's in the same general area. Yeah, I don't see anything specific on either one as far as a good way to uh, to fix that. So we're going to try to just not fix that. We're just going to let that stay where it's at. We'll twist it off to the side and let it sit. So you can see there, it's still attached on both sides. That way I don't have to bust it, which is actually better. I'd rather not have to bust it. So here's the deal. These need to sit in here. And I think they need to be riveted in there. I think they got pulled out of some rivets. Yeah, so that's not going to work, is it? Not sure if they got drilled out or punched out. But either way, the issue is they're not attached anymore. So now it's just a matter of figuring out if I can pop them back in or if I got to do some glue work or what I got to do here. Um, <laughs> so, first things first. I'm noticing that they're not wanting to go together. And it looks like it's a little wide on the part of these. So all I'm going to do is I've got myself a little little wire cutter. If anyone's ever used one of these, you know exactly what I'm doing. At least as far as if you've ever used them the way I use them. Oop. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this, just spin it around, kind of tightening up the loop cutting off any of the scrappy pieces that can get in the way. Not necessarily cutting them, but just rounding them up. And you can see there's a little bit of flaking going on, but not bad. Yep, see, flake that up, flake that up, flake that up. And there we're going to pinch, flake it up, pinch. And basically I'm just trying to make the hole, or make the circle a little bit smaller. Because that's why it wasn't fitting in the hole something catching. Alright. So I think we got it. I'll take a couple more swings at it here.
So let's see where we're at. Yeah, so neither side wants to go in yet. What I also can do is I can try, and here's what I'm going to do next. I don't want to mess anything up, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the hinge completely out. I'm going to try another method. I'm going to try something that I hopefully won't regret. More screw in there. So I'm learning with you. I have not done this yet. I am just narrating as I go. So there, you see I pulled the guard off, and now the hinge came out. And I just destroyed my life. Doing a hell of a job at messing things up this today. I don't even know how I manage that. That thing shouldn't fall out. All right. Well, it's back in now. Whatever I did to it, that was interesting. Blooper, but I don't take bloopers out. So you guys get the whole show. Nothing, nothing but that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a pair of pliers. But obviously, I have paint on the hood, so I don't want to hurt the hood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch it with a towel. So now that this is off, I'm comfortable enough to go ahead and just let that sit. I won't be using any pressure to it or anything, so I don't feel, um, I don't feel worried about leaving that the way it is. So... I'm just using a pair of pliers. There we go. It just popped right back in. So all I did is take a towel behind the hood and then put this on the like that with the towel on the bottom and then pinched it. And it looks like it's back together pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's perfect. What I'm going to do is add a dab of super glue in each hinge or each rivet. So I take my super glue. I get a little drop, not a bunch, just a drop in there. There we go. Do the same on the other side, just get a nice, ooh, that's a big drop. I don't need that quite, quite that much. So I dab it in there, rub it around a little, and get it back out. Set it on the towel, take a little rag, wipe off the tip of the super glue. You never want to leave that stuff lay around. Because that stuff, if you get it stuck to yourself or anything, does not come off without a fight. So yeah, don't do that to yourself. Just clean up your super glue or it will come back to bite you. So put my lid back on. So I'm going to let that sit and dry for just a sec. <sighs> yep, drinking that. That's why I like all the Mountain Dew cars. Love this stuff. So I feel like it's pretty good. Um, all the super glue should have dried up. Just give it a little air, blow on it a couple times, just give it kind of a, a little bit of time to cure. But then all I'm gonna do is put this back up in here. Like that. Put the guard back on. Not sure how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and say it goes like this. All right, like that. Looks like that's exactly how it's supposed to sit. I'm going to grab screw number one. Put that back in the hole there. Sorry for getting in the way there. So that's all I had to do. Just a couple dabs of super glue in there, it looks like. So this is on a 1987 Monte Carlo. Put that screw in. I'll let the hood just kind of fall out there for a sec. And I'll put the other screw back in and put the thing back together. Now it looks like I'm running low on time because I can only record 10 minutes at a time. The most obnoxious feature about this phone right now. Uh, but I'll, I'll try to figure out why that is. I'll see if I can figure out why that's a max time and it only is allowed to record for that long. But as for now, that's how you put it back together. After this, all I do is put the thing back together and put the screws back in. So you kind of have an idea what these Monte Carlos are like, how bad they are, how easy they are. All you got to do for tension on it is tighten those, but I've got 10 seconds. So like, comment, subscribe, and uh, that's about all I got. So we'll see you guys in the next video.